Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for August 5th. This is a daily energy, a daily preview of what's to come. This may or may not happen on the 5th because the timing is fluid. So keep that in mind. This is a message from my guides. It's not sign specific. Okay, so it may or may not be for you. This is kind of like a energy, something that is about to happen, perhaps. I'm going to start right here. What do we have? What do we have for the fifth? I just looked at the bottom. I don't know if you guys saw me look at the bottom. It was the tower. It was the tower um, on the bottom there. Um... What do we got for the 50th? 50th? No, 5th. What do we got? Well, you know, like I said, the timing is fluid. So, what do we got for the 5th? The 5th. Heart chakra. I love. I love myself. This is self-love. I love. This is a healing love. This is all about your heart. It's about following your heart. It's about honoring your heart. It's about doing what your heart wants. It's about love. Self-love. What do we got for the fifth? Ace of Pentacles. That's common, huh? We saw that one yesterday. This is about manifestation. Okay, this is a somebody has manifested a new beginning. This is this has potential for it to grow into something solid. This is a solid, stable opportunity that somebody has manifested. Okay, so we have strong manifestation here. These are both cards of manifestation. We have the magician on the bottom. This is when somebody takes action to bring success and they get it. They get it. So we have a real solid opportunity coming in here. This is something you can touch, something that you can hang on to, something that you can take to the bank. Um, this is willingness, willingness to change, willingness to take action. To let go of the old, to bring in the new. Um, this is very powerful. This is using your resources to be successful. So somebody has used their intentions. They have set their intentions to uh, bring something into their life. And so this is the reward. So somebody is going to be rewarded. This is a solid opportunity of some sort. This could be a gift. Somebody could be getting a gift. Um, whatever this is, this is something that you can actually hang on to. could be a gift of, I mean, this is love, but this is self-love. But this can also be love-love in other areas. But typically the heart chakra, that comes from your heart. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So it looks like we have... Somebody that may have manifested a partner and they may be wondering if it's real and it looks like this is real. This is real. This could be a real love connection. That's what it looks like to me. You know what? I forgot to light that candle. 
There we go. Red. A red candle is for love. I used to have uh, candle book books uh, years ago, probably 20 years ago. You know, candle magic, candle magic. Um, and red is for love. So, and it's manifestation, okay? If you were to light a red candle and do a <laughs> whatever. And if you think about the mag magician, this is crazy the way this shit comes out, okay? We have the magician, this is candle magic, okay? So, if you like 20 years ago, I'm not kidding, I had these candle books and I still have them probably somewhere. Anyway, so this is uh, the ability to manifest love. So somebody has manifested some love as if by magic. Okay, all right. I get it, I got it. It's funny, I started lighting these red candles a couple days ago, probably three days ago. Oh, in my kitchen. Eight of Wands reversed. Eight of Earth upright. So, hmm. Three of Pentacles. This is Eight of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles reversed. Kind of interesting here. Nine of Wands reversed. Page of Pentacles, Five of Swords reversed, ooh, Judgment reversed, oh, the Moon, the Fool, and the Ten of Pentacles. This is prosperity, this is prosperity. Um, it looks like something is being passed down. Something is being passed down here in this card. So some sort of abundance is being passed down. There could be an inheritance for some of you. Somebody could be getting an inheritance. Um, this is prosperity. This is, this is, uh, I don't know. You, maybe your ancestors are helping you as well. Anyhow, this could be ancestral help, help from a mother or a father. Um, on the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Swords reversed. This is, this is the end of suffering. Okay, this is the end of suffering, the Ten of Swords reversed. This is liberation, breaking free. So I feel as though we have, let me just get down to here. I know you all want to see those cards, don't you? Um, it looks like we have a new opportunity here that is being presented to somebody. This is, something is, is coming to a halt. Um, somebody is deciding that they don't have anything left to say. This is, I have nothing left to say. They're, they're walking away. They're putting the brakes on a situation. They're doing it out of self-love. I think that there is definitely some communication or some sort of movement in a certain direction that is coming to a complete halt. It's like somebody is running away. There's there's no reconciliation here. There's no chance that uh, we can, you know, revive this situation. There's no revival. I think somebody has decided to... Uh, put effort into building up something else, making something new, some uh, maybe recreating themselves. Somebody has, has made a decision to stop putting in effort with somebody that doesn't respect them, somebody that doesn't communicate, somebody that won't compromise, somebody that doesn't really work as a team. I feel like they've been in a state of confusion and they may have been letting fear, maybe even pride get in the way. But now it's like they get this new opportunity with this page of pentacles and they decide to take it. They decide to start fresh. So we have a fresh new start here, starting from scratch, starting with a clean slate. Um, I think that there's, there's something that has been below the surface that hasn't been revealed. 
uh, that is about to be revealed. Okay, I think that there's definitely been some sort of um, something's been hidden. Okay, something's been hidden. Somebody's been trying to prove a point. They've been trying to prove themselves, and now they've come to a point where they don't. There's nothing left to prove. I don't. I don't have nothing left to say. I don't have anything left to prove. I just want to be happy. I'm ready to start over. I'm ready to start fresh. I'm leaving, you know, all these challenges behind. So somebody is 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 deciding to stop communicating completely. Stop putting in any effort whatsoever. Whatsoever, right here. Somebody is deciding to just put a halt to trying to prove themselves to the wrong person and deciding to work on themselves. I'm going to put effort into me. That's what this is. I'm, I'm going to work on what I love. I'm going to do what I love. I'm, I'm, I'm going to recreate who I want to be. So, you know, I feel like we, we um, have somebody here that is, is finding the backbone and the uh, ability to adapt. I'm going to adapt to change. You know, I'm going to, I'm going to take this risk and I'm going to go down this new path, even if it's scary. So I feel like there's somebody that is afraid, but they're going to do it anyway. It's like they've been waiting for the moment. And I think that that moment is here. Um, I'm going after extreme abundance. I'm looking for abundance. I'm looking to live the, the good life. Um, and I feel like somebody is being guided to do so. I think that there is some sort of ancestral guidance here. I just really feel that. With this moon card, there's something that has been unseen. There's this is like unpredictable. Um, you may you this it's like you couldn't predict when this was going to happen, but here it is. Something is about to be revealed that has been below the surface for a while. Somebody is deciding to to leave everything behind and go someplace else, even though they're a little scared. I feel like somebody is going to receive a message that um, somebody has left. I mean, somebody has left or somebody has left them even some money. You may, I'm just being honest with you. I mean, this is a, some kind of inheritance or something. Um, if you look at this, this is like this little girl's carrying an urn and that is probably her father. That could be her mother. This is a Ten of Pentacles. So... You know, I'm not sure. And this Ten Pentacles is money. So, you know, I'm wondering if somebody has passed away and they have some money for you or they're guiding you from the other side. So that could be, it could go either way. But the Nine of Fire reversed is avoiding challenge. So there's somebody has deciding to give up. I, I don't, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to, I don't want to do this anymore. And they get this new opportunity. It's like they see an opportunity with the Page of Pentacles. I mean, the Page of Pentacles is where this is a new, a new enterprise that is presented and, and somebody decides to take it. It's like they see the golden, it's, it's holding, usually holding the, this pentacle right here. And it's like, I got this opportunity to go and, but it's a little scary. So I feel like we have somebody here that is about to face their fears. And I think they were, were letting fear get in the way, maybe pride and ego get in the way of their own success. But I think that we... We we have somebody that is ready to basically just put a stop to living in fear. You know, put a stop to the um, conflict. I don't want to live in this conflict anymore. There's With the judgment reversed, we have somebody here that has been... Maybe they've been through a period of self-loathing, a lack of awareness, a self-doubt. They've been doubting that they could um, work someplace else. But I feel like those doubts are really just fears. So anyway, I feel like we have somebody here that is... And it feels like it's suddenly suddenly deciding, you know what, I'm going to face my fears. I'm going to face the unknown and I'm going to start over someplace else. So we have somebody starting over, starting with a clean slate, starting from scratch. I mean, that is completely the truth here. Um, 
they've been avoiding this challenge for quite some time, but they see an opportunity for, or they receive an opportunity. You could be receiving a, some sort of financial help from somebody that is going to allow you to start over someplace else. Um, even family money. This could be family money for some of you. Um, we're just going to get another deck and see what else we can get. Somebody's done. Somebody is done facing life's challenges. Okay? It's like, I don't want to face these life challenges anymore. I don't want to, you know, or they're, or they're not, or the challenges are going to dissipate because they're going to receive some sort of financial help from somebody. I'm just saying that could be the case. Um... Five of Swords reversed. I just want to be happy. I just want to be happy. The only way I'm going to be happy is to... Honor my truth. And somebody hasn't been honoring their truth. They've been... This is deception. They're it. It's like they've been deceiving. They may have blocked communication with somebody that... They love. And now they may apologize. Somebody could get an apology. I would like to start over. I mean, that could certainly be the case. The Page of Pentacles could be an apology. This person may have been a winning challenge. <laughs> Let's get four of these cards just to go with this reading. One, two, three. Starting over, yeah. So we could have a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. Um, we have Aries a couple times. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sagittarius. But this is realizing that there is still an opportunity for love. We have somebody here that is opening their heart and following their heart. My heart says that I have to go over after this opportunity. This is an opportunity for love. So I feel like that somebody is going to be presented with an opportunity. I think that is this is an opportunity that they have been asking for. They have been manifesting. Somebody is going to get a big offer of love. I think it could include an apology. I don't know. It may or may not. Um, things have been turned upside down. I feel like we have a person that has been unable to really work well with anybody else. They've been, they haven't been able to work well. They haven't been able to release. They may have been trying to escape reality. They may, uh, They've been growing frustrated and I feel like they're ready for a fresh start and they're ready to to deal with the, their own addictions to bring success to their life. So I feel like we have somebody here that is probably wanting to go home. They're thinking about their home. The Ten of Pentacles is about home. They're wanting to start over. They're wanting to find a new home. Okay. This is starting from scratch, starting over, someplace else. I'm ready. I'm ready to go home. I'm ready to start over. I'm ready to follow my heart. I'm ready for love. I'm going to stop crying over the spilled milk. I realize that there's an opportunity for love. My heart knows where it is. Because this, the feelings are real. It's like somebody has these feelings. And they're about to follow their heart into a solid, stable opportunity that could really bring them stability, comfort, abundance. So yeah, I feel like we have, a, we have somebody that is starting from scratch. Somebody may be receiving apology that has been long awaited. Or they're just receiving a new opportunity. That could lead them to, an, that could lead them. I mean, this page of pentacles, this could lead to something huge. 
It leads to the Ace of Pentacles. With hard work and effort. We may have somebody here that, you know, didn't put in effort. They didn't, they didn't realize. They didn't realize that relationships take compromise and they take hard work. They take time. You don't give up. And I feel like we have somebody here that is realizing that there's an opportunity for love if I put in the work. So I feel like somebody is going to receive a message. Then this message is going to present an opportunity to start over or to start fresh, start something new. It's going to present a new beginning, period. We have a new beginning here. And whatever this new beginning is, it's love. Okay? It, because we got this love. This is love. That is love. So, yeah, we got a new beginning here. And it's leaving all everything else behind. It's like we're going to start over or, we're, or I'm going to start over. And the, pa the past is the past. I just want to be happy. So I feel like we have a very tender, loving individual who is deciding to follow their heart. And they're about to start on a new path. I'm sorry. Somebody keeps dialing my phone and they won't stop and it's causing me stress. I'll let you go. Good luck.